what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel so in the last video i left a lot of people concerned because i was coming out here feeding the animals looking at the emus and you guys seen that uh yonag our blonde or white looking emu had a uh she scraped her head and she was bleeding pretty good so we're gonna walk out here and uh take a look at her give you guys an update that was two days ago so uh bear with me i'm like squinting we finally got some sunshine today we just broke i think it's like 32 degrees right now so we're still freezing but it's supposed to be like uh in the 40s today so a little time and uh hopefully this stuff will start melting i know the animals are tired of it and uh i am too to be honest with you so I've, here's here's my here's my emu friends right here i brought them some treats i got a surprise in my pocket for them as well and the geese are upset they heard me say my emu friends but as you can tell they are super nosy they can't wait to see what i got them so i got them some some snacks that we had in the pantry that are kind of stale i don't think anyone in our family liked it so uh get your pocket full of those how about that <laughs> look at this <laughs> Here you go. Y Yoshi's not shy. I'll get in there in a second, but <clears throat> to let you guys know, just to uh, clarify on your egg, I'm gonna show you guys if I can if I can show you her head. I'm trying to get in the gate here. I got all these goats. Knows that I've got treats, so now they're gonna be jumping on me and everything. So I'm gonna spin the camera around. Hold on. All right, I'm gonna spin the camera around. <clears throat> and uh, it's on this side, on her left side of her head. She's got a scrape there, but it it was uh it quit bleeding when I came back out here. I was gonna doctor it, and it already looked so much better. So I'm just kind of watching it right now. I still have not found out what she scraped her head on but she uh, absolutely scraped her head on something and uh, got a little boo-boo and it was a little bloody that day but uh it quit bleeding i came back out here rachel and i come out here to check her and everything was better who you know what are you doing so bear with me i'm using my uh cell phone to video again and you guys can see mr smeagol right there maybe so uh Let's get, let's give these guys some treats. This is kind of hard to do one handed. Let me throw this box down. All right. So the goats actually like these too. Oh, and I got another surprise in the uh, barn for you guys. Here, let me spread these out. Let me spread these out for everybody. Geese, I don't think you guys like them, but I'm not sure. There's enough for everybody if you guys share. Y'all can't be gluttons. Enough for everybody. All right. What do you think? Here, you want to eat it right out of the bag? Ghost face, Will. She's not shy. Here. Here you go. Get your bite. <laughs> Here, Yone. There she is. There she goes. She got a mouthful that time. These emus are amazing creatures and just watching them walk around this ice. It's a little bit more slushier now, but uh, the past few days, I mean, it was just slick as can be. We got freezing rain and we got all that sleet on top of it and it started melting and then refroze. Yoshi, come on. I got another snack for you guys, come on. Come on guys. Where's my big birds at? There they come. Here. Come here, Yosh. There you go, buddy. Got you trained. Well, you can't have the whole bag. You can't have the whole bag. So if you guys watch them, these emus are crazy eaters. They get it in their beak and they throw it back into their throat. It's really cool. To, I've never noticed that until we actually got these emus that they ate like that. Of course, the goats are always... Oh, here you go. I didn't know you were there, good girl. But they both do it. It's pretty. It's pretty cool to watch. They do it with this type of food. They do it with their pellet food. Let she go. Oh, she walked. 
walking around me. Here, come here. Come here, yo-yo. Come here, yo-yo. That's the bag. It's a see-through bag. You can't eat the whole bag. Here you go. All right, let's share some with the goats. The goats are being pretty nice today, so let's spread it out. Give some to the geese and the ducks. I do got a uh, pocket full of treats in my pocket for these emus, and what it is, they're grapes. Okay, spin the camera back around. <clears throat> um, I don't know if you guys picked it up in the background, but I got something over at my shop, and I'm um, saving this for a whole separate video, so be sure to stay tuned for the next video because uh I'm probably gonna get in big trouble for this my wife is going to kill me when she finds out what i brought home <laughs> like i said i don't know if you guys got a glimpse you got you might have got a glimpse earlier when i was walking around the camera but i'm trying to stay over here away from it because i don't want to tell you guys yet um yeah i've got a problem but uh it's not it's, it's not too bad of a problem but anyway stay tuned for the next video and uh i'm gonna <clears throat> update you guys on what we got going on pretty interesting for me anyways and uh i see i got another problem we gotta talk about right here hold on let me turn this camera back around okay you guys see what i see look at this somebody by the name of mojo has brought one of kaya's boots out here he always does this. He always gets the kids' boots or Rachel's boots. These are our high C boots. When we leave them on the porch, because you know we wear them to come out to do our chores out here, mucking around, feeding, doing whatever we got to do with the animals. And you know, if you wear your good boots like I am right here, you're gonna have a mess. So you're gonna tear them up. You're gonna ruin them. And if you wear them in the house, it's gonna make your uh, floor dirty. So we usually leave them on the porch. Well, Mojo, I don't know if he misses us a lot or what the deal is, but. He always grabs our boots and brings them out here. He uh, he jumps the fence over here where he comes through all the time. And he comes out here and lays. But he always brings one of our boots out here all the time. It's the weirdest thing. So you can see the goats are uh, munching away on their hay. They've got a little bit left. I'll have to put a new bell in here pretty quick. Um, I'm going to have to dump all these swimming pools and all that out and start filling them up. They are starting to melt at least, but that's still a big chunk of ice and the waterfowl can't get in there and swim and do their thing. Water heater's still working good. You can see we got a uh, liquid in that one. And there's Mr. Smeagol. He better not go in the barn or he's gonna meet someone that don't want him in there. And let me show you guys what I found yesterday. Got another surprise for you. You guys already know we got a goose laying the, setting on the eggs. Oh. Got another one. So you guys seen the video where I moved. She had what six eggs and I moved them over here to this one. Make sure there's not another one in there. Nope. So she's got 15 eggs under because she already had nine. But yesterday when I came out here to get the eggs, she had two more. So she's starting to lay. She already had the six and then she had two more. That's Millie. Millie's got the uh See that on the back of her neck? That's Miss Millie. You guys know Millie. That's the first Sebastopol goose we've ever had. And I keep hearing a cat. Smeagol. I hear him. I don't know where he's at. So anyways, we're going to leave Miss Millie alone. Luckily, uh-oh. Don't want the gander coming after me. He don't like me getting in there with his girls. Look at him. <laughs> he's, I'm not messing with your girls. I'm not. I was just checking on him. Yo, yo, are you feeling better today, girl? Huh? Are you feeling much better? Tell that silly gander I'm not messing with the girls. I just went in there to check on him. That's all. Hey, why do you keep crying? We're not feeding yet. It's too early to feed. I'm just glad the sun's out, but it's uh, blind to me. I need my sunglasses. And there's a better look at Yo-Yo's boo-boo, maybe. You guys can kind of see it. 
she's my buddy she's the, these emus aren't overly friendly like they're not overcrowding they don't knock you down and stuff but they're not aggressive they're not mean when you come out here they don't try to attack you or nothing else they give you your space but they are very curious so with that being said she's she's being nice so look what i got for her yeah you smell them too don't you oh of course you can hear everybody coming now All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right, let me get your grapes out. Hold on, come here, girl. Here, I know you see them. Ow, that's my finger. Yeah, you just dropped it. There, she still got it. <laughs> I hold a handful of grapes out there. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Please don't get my finger. Good boy. Man, that hurts. When you got a big giant bird like this biting down on your uh finger pulling it off pretty much don't feel too good oh they love these grapes so i try to keep grapes in the house i don't give them to them all the time but you know if i'm just out here killing time or something um i don't ever give them to them when i'm just out here feeding because i'll ow hey that's rude okay they really like these grapes because he's a uh, he's like really trying to get to me and i made the mistake of using these clear bags hold on give me some space here you go here, Yo-Yo. Hey, Yo-Yo's turn. Okay, okay, okay. Here, there's one more. There's a couple more in there. There you go. Y'all get it. Yeah, I made the mistake of using these Ziploc bags. They can see them through the bags, and they just try to heck them. That's it. That's all I got. That's all I got. Come here. That's all I got. Good birds. Good birds. Yeah, that's all. That's all I got. That's my finger. Hey! That's all I got. I was just talking nicely about you, and now you're trying to bite me. Stop that, okay? But, yep, I'm, uh, I'm not feeding yet. It's still early in the morning. Like I said, the sun just came up. Starting to warm everything up. Um, I've been feeding twice a day. We've been feeding in the morning, and then at our normal evening time feed. And uh, everybody's nice and healthy and staying warm. Everybody's got hay. The geese are doing good. They're uh, laying their eggs. We got nine total geese, and you can see we got seven over there because the two's in the uh, two of the two of the actual geese, the girl geese, are in the uh, barn setting on their eggs. I don't know if the one in the corner is actually setting on them or she's just trying to lay another one right now. She hasn't started like setting, setting, like incubating them, but she might start once she gets another clutch under her. And I always check every day because the turkeys. I've been noticing Walt and the turkey hens they've been uh doing some things so it shouldn't be long the turkeys will be laying eggs and uh, i don't know if i'll let the turkeys hatch them or if i'll uh put them in the incubator myself so yeah i mean we don't really need any more turkeys because these turkeys get on my nerves because they're always flying out of the fence i know you can clip their wings and stuff like that but uh it's just something you got to stay up up on and right now we got so many birds you guys know even when the geese start hatching their eggs we'll just be selling them we're not going to be keeping any more geese and hopefully here before springtime comes we'll get out here rachel and i is going to get out here with the uh, Kubota backhoe we're going to start digging a pond out here we're going to start building a pond i don't know how big it's going to be it's not going to be a great big massive pond but we're wanting to put a pond out here because you guys know we got the birds, we got the waterfowl. The emus even love ponds. If you guys watch any other YouTube channels that has the emus and stuff, you guys know they love water, they love ponds. It does get pretty hot here in the summertime. It gets 100 degrees. So just having that extra reserve of water, even in pond form for the goats, is a plus. However, I don't know how well the water would taste having a whole bunch of ducks and geese in it all the time. But that's just how nature works somehow, I guess but um stay tuned if you guys are not subscribed to the channel please hit that subscribe button um here before long less than 30 days away we're gonna be having a bunch of baby goats born over in our kiko and spanish pen um Bo. he is a registered new zealand kiko buck and he is the sire to all of our goat nannies this year um whether they're pico which is our pygmy kiko crosses or the kiko and spanish over in the big pen He's going to be the father to a bunch of baby goats. So the Kigo and Spanish are due first, and they will be having their babies within a month. we got about three more weeks. They should be hitting the ground. 
and uh, we're gonna be really busy and it's gonna be a little bit of a trial because this is the first baby goat kids that Cora is gonna be around as a uh, year old dog so she's still very playful she's still a puppy so it's gonna be something we're gonna have to watch because sometimes when you got these dogs they want to play with those kids and stuff and they can be a little rough on them so you just never know but I wanted to make this video, I'll come out here to make this video to update you guys on Yoneg because I know a lot of you seen that last video and you were upset. And uh, it is upset. Anytime you see any of your animals, you know, even the ones that are uh, nuisances to you, you don't want your animals to be hurt or suffer or anything like that. But Rachel and I, we're not vets, but we do know, you know, first, first aid, I'll say, for animals. We know basic health care and stuff for animals, but we're no, by no means vets. But we know how to take care of the, the minor things. Just like, just like her cut on her head, we've been watching it, make sure it wasn't like a deep wound or anything that needed stitches. Luckily, it was just a little scratch and it bled a little bit. It looked a lot worse because she has the white feathers. But once we kind of got a hold of her and started looking, it wasn't that bad as we thought. It just looked really bad because of all the red on the white. So uh, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna go ahead and log off and please remember, do not forget the next video. Um, I've got to show you guys something I brought home. I'm sure Rachel's not going to be too happy about it. So, love you guys. Thank you for watching. Leave a comment down below, and we'll see you next time.